Hey guys, it's Cassie and it's my birthday. Well, shh, it's actually not my birthday when I'm filming this, but it will be up on my birthday. So it's my birthday. I am 29. Mm -hmm. One foot in the grave. Um, I'm joking. Um, but today is my luxury birthday haul. I'm showing you all of the goodies I got for my birthday, the majority of which I bought for myself. Why? Because normalise buying yourself gifts, okay? If you buy it, then you always get what you want. You're not gonna have that awkward like, <laughs> what is, ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's gonna come in so handy. Thank you so much. There's none of that. All right, you know what you're getting and you're gonna love it. Links to these items will be below. We have Chanel, Gucci, Emilio Pucci, and another brand, but we're gonna get into it. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so starting off with uh, the Gucci item. And actually, do we see that I have this lovely bouquet of flowers that Gucci sent me? Look, this isn't because like I'm on Gucci's PR list. PR Gucci, the Gucci that, you know, would pay me for brand deals or whatever, have no idea about my existence. This is purely because I have the most amazing Gucci essays and um, I spent too much money there. Okay, so <laughs> speaking of, I recently did a shopping vlog and if you watched it then you know what this is. I got this incredible pair of Gucci jeans and this is the thing when I saw it on the hanger I was like yeah they're cute let me try them on. I in no way thought that I was going to fall in love with them the way that I did. As we know I have been on a quest with a capital Q that I had to be honest with you given up on to find straight leg jeans um, because I pretty much hate all of them on me. However these i tried them on and i was like stop you're the ones you're what i've been looking for you are the sleeping beauty in the top of the castle that i need to kiss to make my own that is you and i am obsessed obsessed with these so i got these in a size 28 they have zero elastic no giving that nothing at all but what i like about these is they're quite tight on the uh, up to the knees basically so they're almost like skinny jeans up to the knees and then they just you know like just fall straight down there's nothing too crazy with them they're just an amazing pair of jeans obviously i'm going to style everything for you in this video we've got the gucci leather tag i don't know in there also can we talk about where it hits on my body you'll see in the styling this is like the perfect length for me i'm five foot four and a bit and usually jeans, you know, they're longer than me. I'm not the tallest of people, right? They're longer than me. Well, they're longer than my legs. <laughs> but these hit at a really great point that is great for sneakers and whatever. They're not going to be getting ratty, you know, ratty on the floor or whatever, picking up all sorts of grime and dust. And why did we get there in the mind, Cassie? I don't know. Let's bring it back. Also, if I want to wear these with heels, I'm just going to cuff them up a bit. I'm just going to do a little one-two roll-ups that they hit at the ankle. We get the shoes on show and she can do a day to night like nobody's business so yes this is item number one and i love her very very much blue jeans white top she's a classic for a sodding reason i love these we can still get down low you know because it's logoed i sort of thought oh we can't do logo plus logo but these two go deliciously well together even though do your oblique gucci gg either way i'm here for it but let's try out a little day to night good evening yes table for two thank you very much yes thank you this is working right to be honest with you i actually think where it was at before i think both works yeah i think i read too much into it it deserves a jiggle right when you get a pair of jeans that make you feel good I only had to go to Salon Gucci to find them. Next up is an item that has been on my wish list and I have been wanting to get something for, from this brand for the last maybe two or three years and it finally happened. This is the Nicole Benisti Grand Shearling Jacket in the blue. Now on my wish list, she was on the wish list in grey, but I'm sorry the blue. You know I'm a blue gal at heart. I know everybody thinks my favourite colour is green because you would assume. But actually my favourite colour is blue. I'm a blue gal. So part of the reason why I wanted this jacket is that it's so different from, you know, usually I'm a puffer gal. I love me a little bit of puff, okay? Little cropped puff, little cropped puff, cropped puff when the temperatures drop. But this is not only 
warm she's heavy as well like you are going to feel snuggled up you're constantly going to feel as though you're like being given a hug as you walk but not an annoying hug that you're like please get off me but like a welcome hug you know just like a warm a warm cozy embrace okay um and what i love about this is so you've got the shielding at the front i love all this gold hardware all of the details there's like you, you can really look temperatures cold we're in the minuses guess what we're gonna belt the neck you can do it it's an option and then at the back it still you know ticks off my puffer jacket heart there because you've got a little bit of puff at the back there as well this is huge and snuggly and gorgeous and it feels luxe you know when you wear it you're like oh hello like you're sinking in into a warm freshly made bed but it's a jacket do you get this i hope you get this i got this in a size medium she's definitely a little bit oversized and i wanted her like that i feel swamped in the best way possible i feel lovely cozy wrapped up warm delicious is how i feel actually look at that puffer at the back uh oh uh oh we love her I love a good aviator jacket and I don't know why, I don't know why it's taken me this long, you know, to finally jump on the train, but I love it, I love the blue. It's such a great blue as well because it's not, I don't know, I just think the shade is good, it's going to go with white, it's going to go with black, it's going to go with all the neutrals and it's not going to be like too, Jesus, it's not going to be too, <laughs> too much of a shout. She looks cute with jeans, she's gonna look cute with a legging, she's gonna look cute with skirts. She's going with everything. Okay, the next one is a brand that I've really been looking at towards the back end of last year, beginning of this year. We've always known that Emilio Pucci has been about, all right? This man has been around the block a few times. But here we are, I'm finally getting something. So I have two things from him. The first one is a very me purchase. It's a sodding turtleneck, isn't it? I am, if you didn't already know this, the unofficial queen of the turtlenecks, all right? Khaleesi, step aside, all right? I'm queen of the sodding turtlenecks. First of all, it's very Emilio Pucci. Okay, this sort of design, I'm sure it has a fabulous name. The name, I do not know. Um, also, very interestingly, all of the sort of, a lot of the Emilio Pucci pieces are sustainably made, right? So the nylon of this garment is made with polydamide fibres regenerated from pre and post consumer waste materials such as fishing nets and carpets. Love that. I love how somebody's crusty, dusty, old carpet turned into this fabulous turtleneck that I'm about to, you know, rock until I'm six feet under. Now, let me tell you something about this as well. I love this material. It's thick. This is not going to be see-through. I got this in a small, and they do do this in different sort of colourways and whatever. Mm, the next Emilio Pucci piece. Okay, so when I got that turtleneck, I went to the Emilio Pucci store in uh, on Sloan Street here in London. But this this mannequin was killing it. I, I walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, she's in an Emilio Pucci catsuit and she's wearing this? Absolutely nailed it sorry the visual merchandiser of the store snaps to you whomever you are so a week later i was like sod it i'm gonna buy it cropped gilet or padded vest as people are calling it it's a gilet in my eyes okay it's got a hood same pattern as the turtleneck but in different colors in the green and she is also sustainably made oh hello let's listen this garment's padding is made with grs global recycle standard recycled down the feathers used are recovered from post-consumer waste and sterilized by processing them in a washing and drying cycle um give it to me now another pro with this guess what uh, you're gonna love this i don't know maybe i hope so she is reversible okay so maybe you just want to want a pop of poochie just in the hood as you're walking you just want a pop of poochie without having a poochie moment you know we love versatility we really do and if you can leave me a two in one i feel like i'm gonna get the extra bang out of my book and Oh my gosh, there's different ways we can style her. Love this. Obviously, you know me, I am going to fully enjoy wearing this with an all black outfit, but do you wanna know what? I'm also going to enjoy wearing this with its matching little um, sister of a, of a turtleneck. And let's step out of my comfort zone. Let's, something, let's do something with patterns, Cassie. You know, I very rarely do patterns, but Emilio Pucci has got me feeling some type of way. 
Poochie on Poochie, we didn't think it could happen, did we? But it's the same print, just different colours, and it works. I love it open, because I would, because I like all my jackets open. Oh, don't embarrass me, come on. There we go. And I just... You know I love it with a legging. It could, would have worked with a jean, it would have worked with like a cute like little sort of fitted mini skirt running around town, whatever. Hold on a second. The clock has struck 12 noon, right? And you're like, do you know what? I'm feeling a little bit, feeling a little bit shy, feeling a little bit more subdued than I was earlier. <laughs> so let's switch a roo, done, just like that. The last item is from Chanel. Now, this one comes with a little bit of a story. It's so sodding heavy. I'll unbox it as I tell you the story. So, as we know, in 20, end of 2020, I bought my first pair of Chanel boots, right? And it was like those classic Chanel boots. That's, that's got some... It's got a bit of grip on there. Do you me? I bought those Chanel boots, the very classic Chanel boots, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my time. Um, I've been wanting a pair of Chanel boots for years, and I really have, and they are very, very classic. However, full transparency, I wore them twice. And I really tried to make them work, but I just feel like they just weren't my style. And I was really, really trying to make them me, but every time I wore them, it just felt not me. So I sold them, and with the money, I bought these and let me talk you through them okay so dust bags all of this we've got this fancy little tool we'll get into it and some extra laces do you have any guesses Ram -ba -ba -ba. delicious these are giving very much aspen never been want to go it's on the list got this kind of nubuk suede all of here is in this rubber right you've got the little chanel details and that, th this was it for me it was the nylon padding on the inside also let me tell you something about the in the lining the entire of the inside you're not going to be able to see it but let me tell you all of the inside is lined in shearling your feet have never been more cozy all right um you know i love a little bit of this it uh, you know when you do it around it just makes me it reminds me of my ice skating days um but let me show you a cool a cool thing with these. So some of the Chanel boots do this. You've got this little thing, right? It's a little Chanel. Got this little Chanel tool, right? You open it. It's got a pick. It's got a little this thing, right? You take that, pick it out, turn it round, pop it back in. What's that? Do you see? What's? Put the shove it. Come on. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. There we go. Do we see that they have teeth for proper being in the snow? Oh my gosh, how brilliant is that? And then you, you've got the same with this little thing at the bottom. What more do you want? Fan sodding -tastic. I'm very excited to wear these in New York. Um, I don't, it won't be snowing, but it will be chilly. So these just felt so much more me. You know I'm gonna love wearing these with a legging. That's a very me look, but also, because of the way that this is quite you know close to the to the leg and you can tie it nice and tight this is going to look great with a skirt or you know shorts or something like that there you go guys what did you think of my birthday haul i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys